Indian Railways is the lifeline of the nation and catalyst for the India's progress and economic development. Indian Railways is the fourth largest railways network in the world by size and with a route length of 67,368 km route spread across the length and breadth of India. For maintenance of all rolling stock, various 47 workshops are in place across India for attending POH schedule in which 27 are for coach maintenance, 16 for wagon maintenance, 13 for EMU and DEMU maintenance. Among these workshops, Hubli Workshop of South Western Railways holds a prominent place for carrying out periodical overhauling POH of 1,200 plus coaches on an average per year. Carriage Repair Workshop at Hubli was established in 1885 under the Southern Maratha Railways headquartered at Dharwad for maintenance of meter gauges of locomotives, coaches and wagons. In 1919, Madras and Southern Maratha Railways MSMR, was formed and the workshop was brought under the jurisdiction of Madras and Southern Maratha Railways. After independence, six zonal railways were formed and in 1951, Hubli Workshop was brought under the control of Southern Railways. After formation of South Central Railways in the year 1966, Hubli Workshop came under its control. The gauge conversion work from meter gauge to broad gauge was taken up during 1995-96 at a total cost of about rupees 18 crores. And finally with the formation of South Western Railways SWR, the workshop is now part of SWR from 1st of April 2003. Hubli Workshop thus forms the backbone of South Western Railways SWR for maintenance and repair activities of rolling stocks. Carriage Repair Workshop has completed 125 years of service to the nation during 2010-11. Hubli Workshop is spread over 26 acres of land with approximately 37% covered area and about 6 kilometers of track. This workshop has a holding capacity of 70 broad gauge coaches for which POH is undertaken. Presently, Hubli Workshop carries out activities like periodical overhauling POH of ISF coaches, periodical overhauling of mainline electrical multiple unit MEMU, Memo, periodical overhauling of BVZI brake vans, POH of inspection cars. Hubli Workshop also carries out conversion of old ICF coaches into new modified code NMG coaches and camping coaches. In addition to these, Hubli Workshop also undertakes production of bogey frames, lower suspension beam, LS beam, and bogey bolsters and intermediate overhauling IOH of ICF bogies. In the future, Hubli Workshop is going to undertake the POH of LHB coaches for which infrastructural work is under progress. To improve the quality of working and optimal utilization of resources, Hubli Workshop has started the journey with the implementation of most promising another of all the management systems 5S Japanese Workplace Management System. With the introduction of 5S techniques, the housekeeping in workshops is tremendously improved. Direction boards and bilingual electronic display system through LED display are introduced. 
Working environment is improved, space utilization is maximized through shop floor cleanliness standards and morale of employees is boosted. Accident-free work environment is ensured. Place for everything is in its place and is practiced by all employees which eased out the identification, traceability and retrievability of the materials. Also, operational workflow processes smoothened by implementation of palletized scrap disposal system in which portable color-coded bins as well as permanent ones are introduced. Rail come road shunting car is being used for shunting operation which has increased the efficiency in coach movement and decreased the use of diesel wastage by locals. Having been bestowed with 5S certification, Workshop didn't need acquiring another international standard. QMS is being the basis of all the management system which is being embraced as a platform for integration with other international standards, mainly environment, energy, health and safety management to improve the overall quality of workshop services. With these certifications, Hobley Workshop has increased its productivity percentage thereby showing the reduction in 100 days sick marking, reduction in the POH cycle time and POH unit cost. Workshops overhauling practices involve lot of welding activities. Recognizing the complexity of welding, the entire process must be controlled from the very start to ensure proper quality of welded products. To ensure credibility and overhaul acceptability of the products, South Western Railway Workshop claimed and successfully attained international certification that is ISO 3834 2005 quality requirements for fusion welding of metallic materials. Certification process involves identification of critical joints, organized storage and handling of welding consumables. Classification of welders as per ISO 96061 Welding of critical joints by classifying A and B welders and subjected to dye penetrate test. Some of the benefits achieved are greater assurance of the quality of welded products thereby passenger safety in train operation is improved, greater reliability and reduction in maintenance cost and rework is achieved. Furthermore, Chemical and Metallurgical Laboratory of Hubley Workshop has also been upgraded with ultra-modern facilities for improved reliability in inspection and testing of overhauling practices. It has been bestowed with NABL accreditation as per ISO 17025. Distributor Valve Overhauling Section is developed as Center of Excellence. Industrial effluents are treated separately in effluent treatment plant ETP. For this purpose, two drainage systems have been constructed. Residual water from RO plant is reused for gardening and cleaning purposes. Water recycle system for roof testing of coaches is introduced. Green coverage in open land increased from 5,000 square meters to 8,000 square meters in last two years. The above measures helped in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Introduction of light pipes using natural sunlight resulted in eliminating conventional lighting system. This arrangement provides clean light energy without heat and gives daylight up to 10 hours in a day. It is absolutely maintenance free, thereby resulting in huge savings. Provision of energy efficient distribution transformers, compact substations with two numbers of resin cast transformers of 750 kVA in place of conventional oil filled transformers in each substation C and D. Only one transformer is charged at a time. This has drastically reduced the transformer losses and has resulted in huge savings. Development of ring main unit system for substations to ensure uninterrupted power supply. More than 50% of power generated during testing of 25 kW and 4.5 kW alternator is fed back to main grid. 
Air turbine ventilators has been provided in lieu of heavy duty exhaust fans at battery, ERS, production D shop and new paint shop where fumes and other pollutants to be exhausted. VVVF drives have been provided to about 42 numbers of EOT cranes and 2 numbers of traverses. This has resulted in substantial savings when compared to use with conventional switch gears or controllers. Provision of energy savers to arc welding plants resulted in avoiding no load losses and further energy savings. 20% of perforated transparent sheet have been provided on shed roofs. Moisture separators to improve efficiency and codal life of pneumatic machines. Usage of solar energy for street lighting purposes. All required personal protective equipment PPE of 22 types have been provided to all the staff depending on the nature of the work being carried out, resulting in considerable reduction of incidents and accidents. Periodical checking of ambient air quality across the workshops is carried out and variable measures were taken to improve the seed significantly. To tackle disaster situation, fire hydrants are also incorporated in all the shops. Cases of injury on duty IOD have been drastically reduced, resulting in significant savings in loss of man days. Improvement on the environment front can be brought in if the extent of pollution is known beforehand. As per Railway Board guidelines, Hubli Workshop embarked upon the prestigious Green Co rating system of the CII Hyderabad. The rating system involves study of workshop performance and eight parameters namely electrical energy, renewable energy, greenhouse gas emission, water conservation, material conservation, green supply chain and others that is air quality, flora and fauna, innovations etc. Hubli Workshop has performed excellently in the above assessment of green initiatives and rated bronze in Green Co rating. As a green energy initiative, Hubli Workshop has installed 999 kWp rooftop grid connected solar PV power plant which approximately caters for 70% of energy requirement of the workshop. The power generation from the solar plant is to the tune of approximately 1 lakh units per month totaling to 1.2 million units per annum. The goal for the workshop is to continue the same momentum going forward to make sure the performance is maintained at high level and be a role model on Indian railways. Apart from their regular activities, Hubli Workshop has also taken up social initiatives. Under the leadership of Sri Ajay Kumar Singh, General Manager, South Western Railway Hubli Workshop has developed Antyodaya Wellness Center for the underprivileged children. The children are provided with milk and snacks every day and assistance in their studies. It is planned to identify and develop the potential areas of development which includes computer education, spoken English classes, social and moral science, art and culture, etc. Hubli Workshop has also developed Izzat Ghar, a self-contained bio-toilet fabricated with the provision of solar light for the use of general public. As of now, Hubli Workshop has manufactured 25 Izzat Ghars and these are placed at various locations in Hubli Division of SWR. Hubli Workshop is serving the nation with better quality, cost-effective outturn and aims for India's economic growth and development by being safe, financially viable, environment friendly and caring of its employees with utmost satisfaction of our customers.